trifling. There's no other word that you can use for that. What's up? It's your girl DJ Johnson back at it again with another video. So today's video, I'm going to be talking about most awkward things people do. It's just reality, y'all. So let's get right into the video. So the first awkward thing I would like to discuss is hugging people while one is standing and the other one is sitting down. Why put yourself in that combobulation? Especially if you're laying down on the couch and someone feels the need to hug you. Um, my thing is, if you're laying down, you snuggled up in the couch, obviously they don't want to hug from you because they're not making the effort to come hug you. And then you're putting yourself in a crunched up situation, trying to bend down to their level to hug them, show them some affection. They're not showing you any affection. They're showing all the affection to that blanket they hugged up underneath. You feel me? So why don't you do yourself and your other self a favor and hug somebody that's actually already standing up. Yeah. Okay, so this next one is just plain inconsiderate. Asking people questions while they have food in their mouth. Out of all the times you can ask somebody a question, you're going to ask them why they got a turkey wing, some collard greens, stuffing, everything in the book of Thanksgiving in their mouth and then ask them a question. Don't do that. Alright, so if you take offense to this next one, then you probably can relate because you were either the person on the giving side or on the receiving side. So it is what it is. Borrowing money and then not giving it back until you're asked for it. That's just trifling. Why are you going to ask somebody to borrow some money that you didn't plan on giving back unless they freaking ask for it? You might as well say cannot have blank amount of money because when you don't give it back, it's it's not borrow at that point. It's it's take. You take it away from my wallet. Y'all do that to y'all family members, and y'all know y'all do. Y'all take them for granted, and then when y'all burn them, you go to your friends and then burn bridges with them. Talking about people are not real no more. Everybody fake. Don't worry about me asking for anything no more. I'ma get mine by myself. You go right ahead. You can borrow from yourself. Thank you. All right, so this next one, I'm guilty of myself, and I'm just gonna put it out there. Laughing at what someone said, and you didn't even hear what they said. <laughs> like, why do we do that? And then when they ask you a follow-up question, you be like, <laughs> wait, what you say? Don't even set yourself up for that moment. Like, just say, I didn't hear what you said. It's better to mess up the joke or the statement that they said and just ask them what they said. You can't go no further than that fake laugh you just gave them because you don't even know what the substance of the the, the matter is. Then I'm going to just go ahead and DJ college you. Congratulations. You played yourself. All right. So this one right here, just it just irks me to another dimension. Going to the club just to look cute. Ladies, I'm sorry, but I got to call y'all out on this one. Why? Why go to the club, get in for free, because I know half of y'all, half of us, now I can agree on this part. We get there at the time where ladies free, you know, if it's going to be a charge later on in the night, or you just trying to beat the crowd. Why get in, people watching everybody in the club, instead of dancing to the DJ music? He not in there for free. He definitely getting paid like hundreds of dollars. You might as well take advantage of that because you didn't have to pay him them hundreds of dollars. You just in there looking cute and stank. There's about a hundred other girls outside that didn't get there early like you did waiting in that line about to be charged inflation and you taking up space. No, that ain't cute. All right, so this last one. I'm really about to put y'all on blast. When you walk in next to somebody having a conversation and you trip, you take a L. Oh no. Yo, you can't do nothing but laugh. Like you having a serious conversation, you just like, yeah. And I was playing basketball the other day and uh, oh shoot, you look down like, nope, you tripped yourself. Ain't no pavement move. You, you didn't watch your feet. You didn't lift your feet up. You were so deep into the conversation that you didn't see that you was about to go on your next vacation. <laughs> just a disclaimer, this video was not to come at anybody in any way, shape or form, but to just have fun and make light of the awkward moments that we all face in our everyday life. So if you felt like any shade was thrown against you, then maybe you need to illuminate yourself. 
whatever that means. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes this video of most awkward things people do. If you like this video, thumbs it up, comment below, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Stay tuned for more videos. Peace. I'm only